It's accumulating. I have to go to work early. The snow is coming down outside. And I'm gonna do a devotion and then I'm going into work. Hi, it's Red-Headed Riding Hood here, Red for short. Gonna read William Barclay's Daily Celebration, February 27th. One of the most dangerous jobs in the war was sailing in convoys. And the worst danger of all was sailing in the convoys bound for Russia. For then, if a ship was torpedoed, a man perished quickly in the icy waters unless help came at once. Every man in those Russian convoys was a hero. One day a chaplain came to a man who was sailing in those convoys and asked him for any special impressions. I don't think, said the man, that there's anything I can tell. But, said the chaplain, I know that you have been bombed and torpedoed and machine gunned. There must be something. That was all in a day's work, the man said. But there must be something, said the chaplain, that, that has made a la some lasting impression on you, something that you will remember all your life. Yes, said the man, there is something. Or rather, there are two things that I shall always remember. The first is the sound of men's voices in the sea at night when you can't stop to pick them up and the other is the sound of people's voices complaining in the shops at home. That's a sober thought. Into the man's mind there had burned itself the contrast between men dying in icy waters and the men and women complaining about trifling and petty inconveniences. That's my refrigerator. People grumbled at quite unimportant things while men were dying at sea and sacrificing their lives. One of the most tragic things in life is that lack of proportion in it that I have mentioned so often. I heard the other day of a woman who knew all the latest local sensations in the newspapers and who had never heard that there was such a place as Vietnam or that there was trouble there. She avidly read the local news and was unaware of the conflict which might set the world aflame. This was written in about 1971. There is hardly anything so necessary as the ability to distinguish between that which is important and that which is not. Sobering thoughts. And don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.